Jerry Agar for Ezra Levant. Idle No More has the attention of Saskatchewan's Premier Brad Wall, but perhaps not in the way they may have wanted. I talked to the Premier yesterday. Take a look. Let's talk about Idle No More and the issues that are being presented. The federal government is talking about maybe, or at least uh, the AFN leaders want to talk about the sharing of resources. And I think you've indicated you think that's your job as a Premier to have that discussion. Well, sure. In our country, of course, natural resources are the exclusive jurisdiction of the provinces, and I know we made that point uh, in communications with the federal government, and obviously they understand that as well. Uh, we actually campaigned a year ago, uh, not only, but significantly, principally on, uh, on, on a ballot question that revolved around the future of natural resource revenue in Saskatchewan. Our position was very clear. Our position was that we already share resource revenues with everyone in the province. Every time we build a highway, we share that revenue. Every time we invest in a school or a, or a hospital, every time we use that revenue to pay down some debt, we're sharing it with everyone. And that would we, would, would we be re-elected, uh, we would not uh, be engaging in any sort of a special deal for any, any particular group, uh, but we would continue with the same policy. And I just reiterated that this week, that we know we have a number of issues to deal with with respect to First Nations. We've got some ideas around training and employment uh, results-based initiatives that we know will deliver results. We're happy to talk about those. We're happy to, uh, to, uh, to continue to press those particular ideas so that we can see the, the, the closing of the gap between Aboriginal unemployment and non-Aboriginal unemployment. But as long as I'm the Premier, as long as we're the government of Saskatchewan, there will be no special revenue sharing deal for any group. Now, uh, what if, in fact, Ottawa were to make a deal? Would you as a Premier then say that deal is uh, not, it's not incumbent on me to carry this out? It has no authority with me? Well, you know, first of all, we have assurances that that wouldn't happen, and I just don't think it would. I don't think right. this administration would. They understand the constitutional jurisdiction of uh, natural resources, uh, and I just don't think it would happen. Obviously, uh, uh, we, uh, we'll work very hard to defend the interests of the province of Saskatchewan, uh, whether it's against uh, those in federal politics who refer to our economy as a Dutch disease, or whether it's against any other effort to try to take away from the jurisdiction we have with respect to resources, but we just don't see that coming from the federal government. You said that you uh, have some plans, there's more you can do. Let's talk about education, because that's a large part of the problem. If someone gets an education, they can then move themselves forward. It's appalling, really, the low education level that many uh, young Aboriginals have in this country. How can you improve it? Sure, we're currently engaged in a joint task force with the uh, Federation of Saskatchewan Indian Nations and they're going to report out in March, but they've already delivered an interim report. Jerry, I'm very hopeful because what they've done is canvassed the province and noted the, uh, uh, the best practices that are actually happening in our school divisions right now in the province where completion rates are up, graduation rates are up, and then decisions by, uh, by young First Nations students once they graduate to move on either to further education or to employment, th those numbers are increasing as well. They that report, full report, will come out in March. We're going to look at those best practices and we're going to seek to do more of that. I said earlier this week in our province, what we're going to stop in Saskatchewan is funding, uh, with respect to First Nations partners, funding these interminable meetings and processes that happen and roundtables. So what we've been doing for decades in this country, uh, it's been the very definition of insanity because we keep doing these things and they keep delivering uh, the same results, which is to say no results at all. There are things that are working. We have First Nations in this province that are leaders uh, who, uh, where there's full employment. Uh, it's not necessarily always about money. Sometimes it's about a different approach. Uh, and uh, we're going to pursue those best practices and implement them and move away from funding these, uh, these tables and these processes that seem to only recommend more meetings and not deliver results for First Nations or for, for non-First Nations. How is Saskatchewan then as a province responding to Idle No More? We've had very, very constructive leadership in terms of Idle No More in this province. In fact, it originated here. And so those who originated Idle No More have been in recent days making very public comments uh, about the importance of any demonstrations being within the rule of law, being uh, obviously legal and uh, peaceful. Uh, Sun's uh, reporter in this province, I think, did a story on one of the demonstrations that we had here in the province. It was here in our capital city of Regina. And there the organizers were talking about their desire to make 
make their case known, uh, make the provide information to people, but to, to frankly not hurt the economic growth of the province because I think we all understand that uh, the, the long-term solution here for, for all of us is continued growth in the economy. It's opportunity and jobs and, and, and a government that has the capacity through a broader tax base to invest in training. So we've been fortunate here uh, and we haven't had to deal with any of some of the issues we've seen around the country and we appreciate that. Obviously this is Canada and peaceful protest uh, is very much a part of this great democracy. Uh, breaking the law is another matter. Uh, and. Uh, we haven't seen that in the province and we're grateful to our Idle No More activists and those who originated the movement who have uh, been clarion voices for this kind of constructive approach.